Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Dong and Rumpa. And in the last episode, we spent some time with Sayaka Lauren. She's a little creepy. But, uh, morning has come. What should I just say? We've got more free time. Um, so I don't know how much free time I got today. I assume that I can hang out with some people. So we're gonna go and hang out, I guess. Maybe, right? Yes. I don't know who I wanna hang out with. Uh, where's everybody? Map time. <sighs> Dormitory main hall, Sayaka. Leon and Sakura. And Coco's in her room by herself, and everyone else appears to be downstairs. Huh. Okay. This is interesting. I think I'm actually going to do something I don't usually do. I want to hang out with Piercing Guy. I like Piercing Guy. Dude, hi. 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 What are you doing, Makoto? We gotta hurry up and find a way out of here. Maybe I should hang out with Leon for a while. Let's spend some time with him. Why not? You're not trying to get me alone so you can kill me, are you? My fans will go all psycho if you do. I am as popular as any international superstar. But if you're not gonna murder me, let's hang out. I don't really want to be alone anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like guys with piercings. I spend some time with Leon. Leon and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Leon a present? I don't really have anything for him either. I'm not even afraid anymore. I'm just pissed off. Why? Why is this happening to me? This isn't fair, man. I mean, am I wrong? Oh, um, yeah, it really isn't. Right? Totally unfair. Ultra unfair. Just, like, have to shave my head right before every baseball game. Well, I mean, you choose to do that, right? Come on, man. Are you against me now, too? <laughs> Poor guy. I didn't even want to play, all the, but the coaches and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. And then they made me shave my head just because it's tradition. How's that fair? You really hated baseball that much, huh? Damn straight I do. Who has fun running around on a dusty field for three hours? But for baseball players, the field is like sacred ground, isn't it? But it's so not cool. Spending that time at practice, getting all covered in sweat and dirt. It's just baseball, right? No, it's easy. Who needs practice? I think the gods picked the wrong person to bless with that much talent. Still, gotta admit, baseball wasn't all bad. I did have a few things- it did have a few things, right? Yeah, like the feeling of camaraderie between you and your teammates. Nah, nothing like that. I can't stand being a bunch of, around a bunch of sweaty guys. It's so uncool. Then, what did you like about it? Well, I hate studying, right? But still got into super fancy school on a sporting scholarship. As long as I kept playing, I never had to study. And besides that, it made me super popular with the ladies. Booyah, you jealous? I got to third base in more ways than one, if you know what I'm saying. I believe it. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you, you totally are not. <laughs> I got plenty more where that came from. I'll tell you more about it next time. Anyways, let's hang out again sometime. Talking to you always helps take my mind off this place. With a smile on his face and spring in his step, Leon strolled away. I'm not really sure why, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Leon's report card has been added based upon your experience with him. Just unlock the skill Robo Jock. Give you a, yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Once we all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. There's still a lot of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I'll just look at my friend for a second. Baseball store. Freaking hate studying. I got the school based on sports scholarship. I don't like baseball. I hate practicing, but I'm good at hate sports. Let ladies love sports star. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, I guess we can go find someone else to hang out with now. Yeah. I don't feel like there's Sayaka again, but I don't feel like hanging out with you. Sorry, bro. In the dining hall. I'm just gonna look for some random people to hang out with. I don't know. Buddy! Pal! Hello! I can't say that our current circumstances are favorable, that's for certain, but still. It's times like this when you're bearing your soul can lead to building mutual trust. And the best way to bear a soul is to bear your skin. Let's bang together and build that trust. Hmm, should I hang? Yes, let's hang out with the cute little baby. 
the movie Snowflake. All right, when the body is naked, so is the soul. So let's get stripping down. I love you. <laughs> You're such an adorable little thing. Doc and I bared ourselves to each other in the bathhouse. Neat. Doc and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Doc a present? I don't even know if you'd like the presents. Uh, no, not really. Hey, Makoto, as long as we're talking, let's really talk. What do you say? Huh? Oh, sure, that's fine. Excellent. Now then, let's get down to the brass tacks and find out where we stand on all the big issues. So, what do we, should we discuss? Politics, the economy, international affairs? Wait, hold on, this is a big, serious discussion. Can't we just have a normal conversation? That's the best way to learn about people, I think. What do you mean by normal conversation? Well, uh, for example, what do you do in your spare time? Study, of course! I'm a student, aren't I? A, study, a student must be a studying professional. Of course, my duties as the chairperson of the Morals Committee keep me quite busy as well. It's my duty to foster an environment in which we can all focus on our studies. Okay, but what else? Like when you're at home or just have some time to kill. If I have time to kill, I study! I see. <laughs> this is fun! Okay, my turn. Makoto, what do you do in your spare time? Um, you know, just normal stuff. Watch TV, play video games. Huh? And this helps you study how? No, it's not about studying, it's just for fun, you know? But doing things for fun serves no purpose. There's just- there must be more to it. You wouldn't spend all your time value- you wouldn't spend all your valuable time doing something useless, would you? He insists he wants all he wants, but in the end, but maybe there is a good reason, like getting into some into something and talking to people about it. So maybe. Uh, actually, it is studying. Sometimes it pretty much is studying. Like some games have to do history and stuff. Unacceptable. Oh, <laughs> things like that are more likely to twist the truth than teach you anything useful. If you like to learn about the past, crack open a history book. Oh, okay. I should I keep could I keep arguing about this, but it's probably better if I don't. So, can you think of any other reasons? He can insist all he wants, but in the end, it is a good reason. Oh, I can, I can keep asking. Relating to your friends? You know how it's useful? It gives you something to talk about with other people. Something to talk about? Like when you see something awesome on TV or something in some awesome game and you just want to share it with someone. You can find out how other people feel the same way and that's how you make friends, see? What? What? Once I was blind and now I see! The, the kind of thing has plagued me for years! I've been trying to make friends, but whenever I could make a conversation, it would die just a few minutes after! And now, I finally found the answer! I need to study more games, more TV shows! No, you don't need to study them. I'm so ashamed of myself. If there was a hole somewhere around, I'd go totally hide in it. Let it get, let it get, I let it get to me. I waste all that time. I never saw the blind spot in my studies. I am a complete embarrassment. I'm not qualified to even be on the morals committee, let alone lead it. I don't really think that's a big of a deal. Thank you, Professor Makoto. Professor? You've taught me the most valuable lesson. You've earned my respect and the title of professor. That's gonna make things super awkward. <laughs> There's no need to be modest, professor. I can't wait until your next lesson. Until then, I will strive to learn as much as I can on my own. Well then, professor, by your leave. Without waiting for a reply, Taka ran off. Professor. Although I'm thinking about it, I didn't totally hate it. <laughs> professor Makoto. Doctor's report card has been updated. You just unlocked the skill Attentive Influence. Ooh. Okay. I gotta read about what these do. After a while, we headed back to the room for a while. Okay, by the way, I want to mention something that I found out that was really interesting. Um, I know that we haven't talked to her this episode pretty much, but uh, Sayaka and I are actually share the same birthday, ironically. I also found out that July 7th, which is our birthday, uh, <laughs> it's really weird. It's like... It's basically a festival in Japan. I'm like, holy crap, dude. It's officially night time. Good night, everybody. Woohoo! The third day has already come to an end. When will I? No, we. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed, stared blankly at the ceiling. Before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Night night. I'm going to kill my theater! I need an intermediate fast action pick me up. Oh, excuse me. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving it to regret. What do you think of the guides of the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. If any idiot can, can accomplish something they t if they take it slow, 
if a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece of it, if they, if they, ugh. let me try that again. Even a human ma piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curved or an angle. Freestyle is better than backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than a sit down. Sunday common artist is smarter than graphic novelists. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world, which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, zero point zero point zero 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 two seconds later. Oh my gosh, this game. Ding dong, ding dong. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful day. Woot! I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought crossed my mind, ding dong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka burst into my room. What's up, buddy? What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the storm you see may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, I'm not sure I understand. And if you can't do it alone, find someone to support you and you can support them back. That's how you overcome any storm. Uh, I was thinking about last night, and I decided that we need to really come together. And that's when I realized... Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And now the beginning of the faith the be it's the beginning of the faithful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. All right. Yes. Woo. Uh oh. There's a certain antisocial bitchy lady right there. What's up, girl? Um, Coco? What? Oh, I was wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? I'm so nervous. What is she no nervous about? Yeah, seriously. I'm curious to see if anybody else is hanging around here. Apparently there are other people hanging around here, and I just don't realize it. Nope. I'm losing my mind. Or apparently the game is losing its mind. I can't tell which. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello, Taka. Okay, it looks like everyone's here, so then let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Everyone, thank you for making your time for your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time for this shit, you dragged me here. I know, I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step this is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining room every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I, I've never done that before. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. Well, anyway, did anyone come up with any come up with any clues? Silence echoed through the dining hall. Seriously, nothing at all. Anything could be and anything. It can be about how to get out. Who's doing this? Anything. Nobody gets anything. You're going to die. Huh? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. What the hell? Don't even start freaking about that. I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I, did, did I not say so? If you, you, so you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. Have you completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Yeah, it sounds like the girl wants to live here and hell, more power to her. But shit, no way am I living here. I just want to get out of here. I don't give a shit. Mm, sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues? One thing I can tell you is whoever's behind is who is already someone's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Well, sure, it would be something like that. But right now we need actual clues. Are um, 
huh? What's up? You really think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe there's a person responsible for this? Could be a certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some ideas who might be behind all this? Well, maybe. I mean, I can't be certain, but... Certainly is not a concern right now. I allow whatever remarks you have. Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? I mean, that serial killer that's been in the news all over the internet. The monstrous villain who's been murdering scores of victims in a brutal, in a brutal, in a brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever he is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning, disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him the Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Ugh. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some super crazy killer. And if he's really this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put something like this together. But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. But if they're the killer, isn't that kind of like the killer of- isn't like a killer of a problem for us? It's okay! Everything is absolutely positively 100% without a doubt gonna be okay! Come on! We're gonna be here- they're gonna be- hell's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it! Huh? Help? We've been here- stuck here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already! Police? You're putting your faith in the police? What are you doing here? You guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or an anti-hero or an evil organization. The bad guy comes along and destroys them and that shows how badass they are. Are you sure you want to rely on such unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on, if you really want to get out, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> How are you laughing? I'm just impressed with the total commitment to this whole act. You're, you're still going on about that? So, with Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Mr. Serial Killer Super Freak Psycho Psycho Freak Bastard? Huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll go away. <laughs> hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. I thought you were all kids were lazy and selfish and here you are putting working together, but I'm totally bored. There's something you could say that'll make us start killing each other. Wait, I think, yes, ding ding ding, I figured it out. All the mystery ingredients are here, right people, right place. So why has anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. I just realized there's one important piece missing. What are you, if you want to know, I'll tell you, it's motive. <laughs> it's so simple. All I have to do is give everyone a motive. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Stop changing the goddamn subject. How about I have a little video to show all of you? Oh, but don't worry. It's nothing. Not some pervy adult video or anything. <laughs> Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing all what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just go watch and find out? Here and here, here in the school, there's a specific place you can go and what that has everything you need to watch that video. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. Before we do, I'd like to know, what are you? What would you like? What would you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know, <laughs> despair. That's all. <laughs> I really love Monokuma, by the way. He's horrible, but I love him. If you want to know more than that, you have to figure it out for yourselves. Do whatever you need to to uncover the mystery hidden within the school, and we'll try to stop you. Because to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. Bye. He's gone. And once again, he left us before we could find out anything useful. Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. 
but perhaps with the video he mentioned. I'm curious to see what is on it. Same here. Okay, so Mondo starts the nice Rana dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stops. Hey, Makoto! Check it out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey! Oh my god. You see how passionately I'm- That was begging! <laughs> Seemed more like you were just yelling at me, dude. What's the big deal? Check it out real quick. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll get going then. Awesome, thanks. Oh, you won. If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yeah, sure thing. We'll count on the both of ya. If anything happens, just yell. I'll come a-running. I can't decide if Mondo's totally dependable or completely terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. I agree, highly. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So, where's this spe specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere where you can watch DVD, but... If it's a place up to watch DVDs, then... Oh, God. Okay. Get the fuck downstairs. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's a big room. Okay. Yeah. I, I should have Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. How stupid am I? It's a thing with a big cassette on it. Why did I not see that before? Oh, there it is. Oh, I am so lost. My sense of direction is awful in this game. <laughs> this is cool, though. Oh, a box. Hello, box. Huh? There's something inside the cardboard box. It's... It's a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us, he mentioned. I'd better go tell everybody. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in one place. I think I see something. I see the monitors. High end DVD player. He'll probably play those DVDs in a row. Maybe I'll watch Myers real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs and found a box and found the one with my name on it. And then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down, stared intently at the darkened screen, and then... Oh, my happy family! Hello! Ah, I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor was... My family! You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true! Make sure you do your best! I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard! Have you ever watched Miss Makoto? Good luck, okay? If I had ended there, I would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was normal school, I would have been happy if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life. I had pretty strong feelings this video wasn't going to end there. I hated that having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. <laughs> what? This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd, where'd everyone go? It looked like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice. It was him. Makoto Nayagi accepted into Host Peak Academy and his family to support him. Such a, it was such a lucky boy. But it seemed like something happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Oh, of course. Fuck this thing. <laughs> what is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel a fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist on the- Oh. There we go. I slammed my fist against the desk over and over, over and over again. There we go. A single thought racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here right now. I need to make sure everyone is safe. Koto? What happened was... What happened? Who? What makes sure who's safe? I noticed everyone standing around the entrance of the AV room. They stared at me, face full of confusion. What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What's going... What is on them? They all gathered around the box. Each of them grabbed a DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the fuck? This, this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? 
Ooh. Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. I, I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let's, let me, let, let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen what I had seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. This is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Huh? Let me use an example. Oh, I don't think we need an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace and each commit to scaling back their forces in a sign of good faith. But there's a chance one country might betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is neither the sca that neither scale back their forces and they both end up betraying each other. In other words, the fear of invisibility is a uh, invisible treachery becomes the greatest st enemy of stability. That, that kind of sounds like us right now. Every, every, everyone says they're, they're willing to work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. You can say that, but you can't, you can't, you're, but maybe you're the one thinking that everyone will drop their guard, their drop, you, so you can just, what? This is exactly what Monokuma wants, or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. Okay, but maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, and saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what is in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. <gasps> what was in your video? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. <laughs> Sayaka? I gently place my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She puts her hand away and suddenly runs off. Sayaka? That's Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um, I'm really worried. Then why don't you do whatever you have to? We don't have to stick around together, right? Well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them. I have to go find Sayaka. Oh, jeez. It's really weird. Like, they, they're they basically like cardboard boxes, kinda. Ugh. What was in your video, Taka? I saw... Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. Yeah, I... I'm pretty sure on the internet you could find out what was on all their videos. No doubt. Where could she have gone? She couldn't have gone far. I'll check around the school. Uh, okay. I don't know. Uh... Well, check classrooms, I guess? I don't think she'd be in the store or the nurse's office. Whoa, I was right? What? <laughs> oh, jeez. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on knees, staring absolutely at the floor. She looked like she might- she maybe she was upset or angry or- No. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that could call- that you could call emotion. As if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I be fine? What did we end up do? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want ow! Let me out of here right now! S Sayaka, calm down. She thrashed around and then grabbed her shoulders. I understand. I know you might how you might feel, but when we think about what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and to stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So just stay calm, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, we're sure we can find a way out of here. And it might even help. It might help might even come before that. But, but what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Oh my. Sayaka, please help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? 
To be killed, to kill, or to be killed. I can't take this anymore. Sayaka. She finally raised her face up to my chest, but we're gonna cut the episode off here and you'll figure out what happened to her next time. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more YouTube videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later, right? Bye bye.